This is a very special day, guys. We've got Kugu's G Booster scooter here. Thank you, Kugu, for sending me one of these G Booster scooters in the mail for unboxing today. You need to at least wear a helmet when riding this scooter. So I've just got this out of the box. I haven't actually ridden it yet, but I've got it ready to go. Just look at this thing. It's a behemoth. This is everything that comes in the box. So before you ride the Kugu G Booster for the very first time, these are the things I suggest you do first. Check your tire pressures. Read the instruction manual. Sniff those tires. Rubber. Check all of the screws with your multi-tool. Check the brakes work. And if you want to, attach your bell. And I must say, it's a really nice, well-designed scooter. Now I'm 105 kilos, and that scooter handles my weight perfectly. Oh my God, it's so far! Oh, I I can't describe how great that scooter is. It is so powerful. The scooter is currently folded down. Now at the front and the rear of the scooter, there are fenders that stop dirt and muck from flicking you in the face from these huge 10 inch airfield tires. <laughs> now the scooter itself weighs 30 kilograms and it can take a maximum load of 120 kilos. From folding, it's as simple as this to set up. So straight away, this scooter has two 800 watt brushless motors that sit in the wheel hubs. There's one up front and there's one up the rear. Now this scooter has a top speed of 55 kilometers per hour. Just look at the build quality on this scooter. All that tread on those tires for some off-road fun. The G Booster even comes with two 10 watt LED lights to light up the road in front of you. And let's just not forget how well engineered this scooter looks. It's got rear and front disc brakes. First of all, there's a power brick and power lead. Now this charger will charge the scooter from flat to full in about 10 hours. Now in the past, I reviewed Kugu's S1 Pro scooter and that was a well-built, epic scooter. If the S1 Pro is anything to go by, this G Booster is gonna be amazing. Now, this scooter is supposed to provide 85 kilometers of range or 52 miles, that's crazy. Now, if you guys are interested in taking a look at one of these G Booster scooters, take a look in the description box down below. There'll be links to geekbuying.com. <laughs> Now this scooter includes three riding modes or three gears that determine the speed that you're traveling at. The left one shows the battery voltage. The right one is the speed controller. We can currently see it's full battery in third gear and it has 52.9 volts of battery. This is the rear brake. This is the front brake. This is the accelerator. If you press the yellow one, it switches the lights on. If you press the red one, it switches between single and dual motors. Single is pressed out, dual is pressed in. And this is my very first test run on the Kugu G Booster. It is unbelievable. You better stay tuned for the second video on this thing because it is so, so fast. Now this scooter costs about 900 pounds. You can, however, get it a little bit cheaper when it's on flash sale. As always, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you next time when we're gonna take this outside for a durability test. Once again, I wanna thank Kugu for sending me this scooter in the mail today. I really like this thing. See you later on, bye.